Okay, so. Hey, Reese. How are you? Hey, Everett. How are you? Hey, China. So, anyway, the question was asked to me on yesterday. Um, is there an increase in suicide um, at this particular time, especially because of, hey, Tarsha, because of the coronavirus? And... There is an increase in stress and anxiety in people who are in the mental health field at this particular time are seeing the brink of it. Um, and that's basically just from talking to people in the field. So um, I believe personally, and I haven't heard of any except one, um, someone that I know personally who tried to commit suicide two weeks ago, who's also in a mental health facility. He's been there two weeks and he had four more to go last week. So three more to go. But um, yes, people are very, very stressed and anxious right now, especially because of their financial situations a lot of times. So what I want to encourage you with is to increase your endorphins. So how can you increase your endorphins? Um, happy thoughts. You know, think of things that are gonna make you happy and make you smile. You might wanna look at something on Netflix that will cause you to laugh. You might wanna look at a comedy show, something like that. You do not continuously need to look at the news, especially if you know that you're an anxious person or an overly anxious person, because that's just going to make you more anxious. So why keep putting yourself in that type of situation? Um, another thing you can do, you can exercise. Uh, you can go for a walk. Um, you can lift weights. You can go jogging. Um, just something that's going to increase your endorphins. Another thing is you can make someone else's life happy. Stop looking at your situation and understand that we're all in the same boat together and call somebody else, make them smile, make them laugh, something like that. I mean, it's not always about you and your situation. Um, again, because we're all in this boat together. Last night I explained on the live that you can look at the, the glass half, half empty or half full. I'm a very optimistic person. I'm a very happy person. One thing I can tell you, though, is when people get on my nerves, um, I'll just start singing I Got Sunshine on a Cloudy Day. And I've been singing that one particular song um, for nine years. And the reason I started singing that is because I was going through a divorce. So that particular song shifted my mindset into a happy place and people who know me they know when i start singing that song that i'm in a particular place at that moment but that song brings me so much joy and so much peace and so much happiness so it's like whatever was troubling me or the person that was getting on my nerves um that that went away, that feeling, because basically what it is, is a feeling that's starting to stress you out. So another thing you can do, positive affirmations. A lot of people um, do self-talk. I am happy. I am loving. I am kind. I am joyous. So you can start saying things like that to also shift your mental at that particular time. And words have power. And if you don't believe me, um, if you look at some children, and even possibly you or perhaps you, if growing up, if someone said something to you that was negative, you're so stupid, you're never going to amount to nothing, you're just like your mother, you're just like your father, those words actually stick with you for the rest of your life until you decide that they have no more power over you. Um, and yes, words have power. Even uh, the Bible, it talks about how the, song, the tongue excuse me, is sharper 
than a two-edged sword. And then I have a degree in biology, a bachelor's. So even in that, we learned that the tongue is the strongest muscle in the body. So you can correlate all those th different things and know that the tongue really has power. So my purpose of saying that, hey, Clara, my purpose of saying that is self-talk, happy talk. Um, you can talk yourself into situations or into a frenzy, um, or you could talk yourself into being happy and positive. If you need to at this particular time, I'm sure that therapists are um, taking appointments over the phone because some people might need therapy. Some people might need medication. I'm not such a fan of medication, but at this particular time or any time, do what you need to do for you. I cannot tell you not to take medication. I cannot tell you not to see a therapist. Um, something else that I do, I indulge myself into my work. Like I get peace and I get joy out of working. Um, I get joy out of coaching clients. And during this time, I've just focused on clients. I've been sending the clients that I have uh, videos of encouragement just to say, hey, you can make it. Um, I have one particular couple that I'm coaching and they have very limited income and they even paid me on faith. But just to call them and let them know we're all in this, we're going to be fine. Like no one's going to have their lights shut off because the only thing you could do, you can call and say, hey, you know, I don't have the money right now. They're going to make arrangements with you. So just learn to use what you got to get where you need to go. And some of you might think that I've had life so easy in the past years. No, I make it look easy. Um, I give myself 48 hours to get through a situation, whatever that situation is. And there's some things that I have not gone through that hopefully I can get through um, in 48 hours. But I say, look, if you have to kick, scream, shout, roll on the floor, um, call a friend, uh, go hit something if you box or whatever. Hey, do what you need to do. But for me, I give myself 48 hours to get over a situation. And another way I do that, especially if someone else is involved, I make myself very clear. I confront the situation. Um, a lot of times people are afraid to confront the obvious. And we hold ourselves in a certain place, in a certain position, um, where we're causing ourselves more pain and agony. So just, um, again, if you are stressed and you're feeling anxious, you can call a friend. You can look at Netflix, um, look at comedy, something that's going to increase your endorphins. You can exercise. You can meditate. That's one thing that I did not say. Meditate and pray to God. Like, God is in control. The creator, whatever you call it, is in control of all of this. So, consult that entity. Um, the entity that you say that you love and that you have faith in confront that entity question why is this happening and another thing i want you to to get the concept of is what is the lesson in all of this you know like i said we're all in this whole COVID 19 together but okay god what is my lesson in this what am i supposed to learn for myself you know a lot of times we want to point the fingers at the government and, you know, different entities, but what is my lesson? And it's okay to get your lesson. We all go through a situation. A lesson that most people are getting is slow down. Slow down. We're so busy in life, but this whole thing has taught us to slow down. Um, you can read a book. 
you can read something positive that you enjoy doing so just um create your own life at this particular time stimulate your own endorphins go jogging go running exercise meditate yoga you know all the things that are going to shift your thinking sing a song you know so that's what i want to encourage you all with today because it's really not as bad as some of us think it is yes people are dying but death is a natural aspect of life no we don't want to talk about it we don't want to face it but i can tell you for myself every time i get in an airplane i understand that the only place i can go if something happens is down and that only god is in control of my current situation i believe that the message we should receive this is clara talking i believe the message we should receive is slow down and concentrate on your faith and your god and clara excuse me y'all i have allergies um hey anthony clara i totally agree with you we all need to slow down we all need to talk to god we all need to pray but we should not just pray and talk to that entity and have a relationship with that entity just now like so when i hear people say oh you know i'm praying more now than ever well why why haven't you been in communication with the creator why haven't you been thinking why haven't you been um asking for revelation things like that you know a lot of times people look at me and they be like oh she be cussing and drinking all that kind of stuff but I have to explain to you my relationship is sure and there are so many other people that I know who you would look at in judgment and be like oh they don't they don't know God or they don't know the creator and <laughs> the crazy thing is they they know him more than people I know that go to church every Sunday um, I just want to leave you with this brief thing and I'm, I'm going off my subject sorry that's how I am um, when I was living in Vegas I happened to meet a pastor and he invited me to his church and I said sir I said I thank you so much for inviting me I said however the people I know that go to church lack faith and why would I go to a place where most of the people don't even believe what they're talking about and he said ma'am please come to my church because you're a breath of fresh air so I want to encourage you at this particular time stay in faith that's all you have you have your communication with the Creator and you have your faith and one thing that I see in society especially with our young people is that they have nothing to believe in um, and they need something to believe in so whether it's Jesus whether it's Buddha whatever entity it is they need that to keep them grounded and they don't have that they don't have the old teachings they don't have the wisdom of religious or spiritual I, I hate the word religion they don't have the um, the spirituality that many of us have been brought up in now for me I have branched out of religion I can't do it anymore um, but I love talking to God and when when I left the confounds of religion it's like a whole new world of knowing knowing God became so much sweeter and so much better because all the the chains and all the the bondage was taken off and I could just be me and I could just be free and I'm noticing that kids don't need that confinement but they need some structure so Clara says so many people forget about about God when life is going well but now we have to concentrate on him. And Clara, that's true. A lot of us will concentrate on, on that entity, but some people will not. Some people want to know, am I going to lose my money? Um, one thing that I can say is during these times and hard times, 
you have to be sure even with the with the God within. Um, you can't make money your God. I'm sorry. Because money, what I've learned, it comes and it goes and it comes and it goes. And it's supposed to circulate. So sometimes we're going to be without. Sometimes we're going to have to eat something like oodles and noodles. And so many people at this particular time are worried about those type of things like how am i going to survive i know they're going to survive but they have to believe that they're going to survive vance um said wisdom i separate the misconception peace queen you are more than oh thank you so much vance i appreciate that so get to know that entity that entity is not going allow not going to allow you to fail um the Bible says <clears throat> that I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Like, just know that that entity has you. And I don't mean to bring the Bible in it and all that kind of stuff, but I read everything. Um, I'm very familiar with the Bible, and I still use scripture. So that's just um, part of who I am. I'm just spiritual and not religious at this time. But anyway, just know that the Creator loves you. And that you too are going to get through this and that use what you got to get what you want at this particular time. Um, so some of you are stressed and some of you are anxious. Use Netflix. Use a book that you have um, in your library. Use your happy thoughts. Think of those situations in the past that made you laugh. Use your your circle call your circle and say hey girl i need you to make me smile or whatever and then sometimes we even hey jeff um we have to encourage ourselves you know you're not going to always have someone there with you to encourage you okay so encourage yourself god thank you you know, I don't understand what's going on, but thank you. And that's another thing. Start saying thank you. Thank you is so important. Thank you, God, for the trees. Thank you, you know, that I'm still able to wake up in the morning. Thank you for activities of my limbs. Thank you for my children. I know I have to homeschool school them and they're a pain in my ass, but thank you. Thank you um, that I could see out my eyes. Thank you that I could walk down the street. Thank you that I still have a house. So when you start giving thanks to the creator, um, things just open up. And then some of you should be starting a business right now. Put yourself, put yourself um, into something that you've been wanting to do. So use this time wisely and be at peace <clears throat> with this situation. Again, we're all in this together. Um, we're all going to be fine. Death is a natural process. I know some people get offended when I say that, but death, all of us have to experience it. All of us have to take the journey. Um, so just know that it's going to be okay. I love you. I thank you all for, um, coming and, and being a part of girl things. So, oh, that's good Reese. Not one fear, just being wise. And that's true. Let's be wise right now. Um, and let's just be grateful. We're all going to make it. Have a blessed one.